Hi everyone and welcome to another recipe video and today I am making and massacring sadly these very cute and tasty Kinder Hippo brownies. Now if you're a massive Kinder Bueno fan like I am and you like your chocolate brownies you are going to love this recipe because as you can see here there is a lot of Kinder Bueno. I just absolutely love that crisp crunchy wafer together with the smooth hazelnut cream and the chocolate. Mm, so good. And now we're going to bake it into a very calorie laden brownie, so let's go! We're going to chop up 4 packets of Kinder Buenos, that's about 8 sticks altogether. And now we're going to melt 185 grams of butter with 180 grams of dark chocolate. You can just let the two melt together slowly in a pan over a low heat, you don't want the butter and the chocolate to burn. Or you can do this in short bursts in the microwave. I don't actually have a microwave, I haven't had one in years and I don't fi really find that I need one to be honest. The stove always works. But if you are going to do it in the microwave, just remember to do do it in short bursts. Don't just whack it on full heat for ages because the bottom may explode, which makes a hell of a clean up, which I found out the hard way. Anyway, you can set this aside to cool, and once it's a bit cooler, you add 200 grams of light muscovado sugar. Now the reason why we want this to cool down is because in a bit, when we add our Kinder Bueno, we don't want it to melt and become mushy, we want it to retain that crispness, and we don't want the chocolate around it to melt. So now that that chocolate butter mixture is cool, we're just stirring in the sugar until there are no more lumps. By the way, you can use ordinary white caster sugar instead of muscovado sugar here. I just think that the muscovado sugar gives a lovely deep caramelly flavour to the brownies. It just adds a little extra something. You can also use dark muscovado sugar, but I feel the flavour is a little too strong for this. It's all a matter of preference. Anyway, now I'm going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees C, and you can actually do this straight off the bat first, but make sure you preheat it a little beforehand. Now I'm going to crack three eggs in here, and I'm just going to break the yolks, which I find super satisfying, and whisk it all in. And I was very happy this time because I found absolutely no blood spots in my eggs. Don't you just hate that when you're cracking eggs and making a cake? And there are loads of little red spots in there. Ugh, it really freaks me out. They're not harmful and you don't even really need to remove them when it happens, but I do, just because it makes me feel better about my day. Anyway, give that a good stir. And the chocolate will start to seize up in the batter, but don't worry, it's going to work. So you're seeing it solidify just a little bit here and thickening up. But once you add the flour and cocoa powder in a bit, it'll all come together nice and smooth like a good story. I don't know where that metaphor came from. Maybe I should start using scripts again. Anyway, now we're adding 85 grams of plain flour and we are going to sift in... Um, how much was it? Ah, 40 grams of cocoa powder. Yeah, maybe I do need a script after all. <laughs> so we're just sifting this in and my cocoa powder is a little bit old, you can see, because it's all clumpy, which happens when moisture gets into the tub. But it's still good, it's not past its sell by date yet. So waste not want not, I am just sifting it in so there are no lumps. And now I'm just going to add a good pinch of salt just to bring out that sweet flavour. And I'm going to give it another good stir until it's all smooth and glossy. I love making brownies who don't need any special equipment. As you can see, I'm not even using a mixing bowl, it's all done in the one saucepan. One saucepan, one wooden spoon, no electric equipment, minimal clean up which is quite personally I think the best thing about it. Washing up is the worst thing about baking I swear. But here is just two things. Maybe three if you count the tin. But as you'll see in a minute I have lined the tin which not only makes the brownie easier to get out, it also helps a bit with the washing as well. So by now even if you cheated a little bit and didn't wait for the chocolate and butter to cool down at that very beginning enough, it should be cool enough now to add your Kinder Bueno. And here I'm adding about two thirds of it. I will say now, I would actually prefer in the future to add all of it. What I did with the rest was dot it on top and you'll see why this didn't quite work later, but it was still good. Anyway, here I've added in my Kinder Bueno and I'm gently folding it in because I don't want to squish them and squash that lovely hazelnut cream outside of the middle of the chunks. I want them all to be in one piece. So now that I've done that, I'm going to grab my tin which is about an 8 by 12 inch pan and you see I've completely covered it in baking parchment so I'll just be able to lift that brownie up later. 
and I am now evenly distributing the brownie batter into the tin. Once that's all in there, I'm just going to give it a few good bashes on the counter just to get rid of any air bubbles down there and help the batter evenly distribute itself. And now, as you can see, I'm taking that remainder third of the Kinder Bueno and dotting it randomly on top. This actually made it really difficult to place the hippos on afterwards because it made a bumpy surface. I didn't really think that through. Also, I found that the chocolate burned a tiny bit on top but it didn't really matter because I covered it with hazelnut cream anyway, which you'll see in a minute. And now you're going to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes and then cool it completely for the last part of the brownie making session. Now I'm going to make the topping and I'm using some hazelnut cream, which I actually received as a PR product on Instagram from Black Milk and they're like a dessert cafe based in Manchester in London. And they sent me some of this stuff to have a go, which I posted about on Instagram a few weeks ago. But you can also use any hazelnut cream you like, there are quite a few choices out there. This one though I can say I did enjoy a lot, and that is my honest opinion, otherwise I would not have cooked with it, you could see that massive dent where I ate a bit beforehand. And I'm just taking about 5 tablespoonfuls here, and I'm melting it gently on a bowl over a little water. You can melt it directly in the pan as long as it's on a low heat, or again in the microwave in short bursts. And this melts quite quickly into a runny goop but it will set quite quickly as well, which will be quite useful in a minute. So I'm just going to take this and drizzle the whole lot on top. I don't know why I did this so delicately, since most of it will cover the top anyway, but there you go, I was trying to get it on evenly. So you need to work quite quickly actually, because the cold brownie will cause this to set quite quickly, and you want to stick on your Kinder Hippos, which I have 10, before that sets and I'm just sticking them on randomly so that every slice I make will have a good bite of it. And this would have definitely been easier on a flat surface but because I put that last bit of Kinder Bueno on top it is a bit bumpy so I just had to rearrange a little bit before I could get the hippos to sit nicely. But that is it, nice and simple, you don't even have to really wait for the topping to set, but it does quite fast and I find it easier to slice when the hazelnut cream is set. Just wait a couple of minutes, cut it into squares and then serve. And look at my poor hippos, it's so sad, but darn it's worth it. Thanks for watching and or listening, I hope you enjoyed today's video and found something in it useful and I hope you'll join me next Wednesday for my next one. Get full recipes for all of these videos on my blog tashcakes.com and find me on Instagram as Tashcakes Tastes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular and I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, be nice and have a good week.